What are we talking about today? Uh, so this week we're going to talk about living on anchor versus living in a marina. The differences of both. So, so here's the story of the wandering naps. We're a family of five from Texas. Chris and Jolene met in second grade and started dating our freshman year of high school. We got married and moved to Texas. We had three boys, Carter, Chase, and Caleb. We loved to travel and fell in love with the water. We decided to sell everything and buy a boat and travel the Caribbean. After selling everything, we traveled coast to coast boat shopping. We finally found our new home in the Florida Keys. We spent six weeks in a boat yard, moved aboard, spent another eight months in a marina, and finally moved off grid and on anchor. Join us on our adventure. Let's talk about the big one first, which is cost, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So uh, in your marina, you're going to have your slip fee, which is negotiable depending on where you're at, and usually that's charged per foot. Mm -hmm. And then you, some marinas charge for electricity and for water separate, like mm -hmm. per gallon or per kilowatt, and others include all that flat fee. Right. Yep. So you got to you got to figure that out. Um, we've been at two marinas now. Uh, the first marina we have a 47 foot trawler. Mm -hmm. The first marina uh, in the winter time when we weren't blown through electricity because they charge per gallon for water and mm -hmm. per kilowatt for electricity. Uh, we were is 24 50 a foot. Yeah, but what we were spending about what 1300 dollars a month, 12 yeah. to 13. Mm -hmm. In the summertime when we were blown through electricity, it was in the several hundred dollars more. It was up around 1500 dollars mm -hmm. a month. Yep. Uh, we're currently at a marina uh, where they include their water and their electricity, and it's about nine fifty, right? Um, well, I'm sorry. We are sixteen dollars a foot right now at this marina, and they charge a flat rate for electricity ah, of one hundred and fifty dollars right. a month. So it ends up being about nine fifty. Yeah, it's a good deal. So now let's talk about um, cost of living at anchor. So the way we run our boat, remember everybody's different, but we require air conditioning all the time. Because Chris is a little Not bit of all a the diva. Time. Just at yes. night when I'm sleeping. During yes. the day, I, I work in the heat. It's fine. So we run our generator about 12 hours a day to accommodate that. We've tried, you know, the turning off the generator at bed, like when we go to bed and airflow. And it's just, we, just, we just want the air conditioning on all the time. So with that being said, 12 hours of generator. Um, so our generator burns about a half gallon of fuel an hour, is what we figured. Mm -hmm. um, so you were going to run through six gallons of diesel a day. Average. Three dollars a gallon. Mm -hmm. Just right there, you're like 550 bucks. And then you add in the cost of filters. So I have changes. to change my oil in the generator every hundred hours. So. So week and a half. Week week and a half, I'm changing the oil. Yeah. So you got a gallon of oil plus a filter. Yeah. Um, wear and tear. Wear and tear. So, I don't know, what is that? Seven, eight hundred dollars a month? Mm -hmm. I don't know what wear and tear is worth. Well, and I mean, in our last video, you saw one of our previous videos, you saw our generator. We had trouble with that. So, I mean, then there's always maintenance. So, the other thing is on the anchor, at a, at a marina, we get water. Mm -hmm. On the hook, we are making water. Mm -hmm. And so, filters the cost for that. for that is filters. Mm -hmm. um, the big filter, now I've just replaced it, it should be good for at least a year. Mm -hmm. uh, that was like a $400 filter. Yeah. The smaller ones are like $20, $30, and I, I need yeah. to change those after being a month, six like, weeks of bound the hook. Yeah. yeah. But, um, so there's, you know, for right now, we said, you know, for the summer months, through hurricane season, tied in a marina for the 950 flat fee, mm -hmm. yes, that's... The cost at anchor was very much similar. Worth it. And then also, we were dinging Chris into work every day. Ah, that's right. So, cool. we were filling the dinghy two to three times a week, five gallons per fill, mm -hmm. average $15 a uh, fill. So, that's 30 to but $45 a week as, in addition. On the flip side, I'm still driving nine miles to work. Sure. So, I still have fuel sure. in, our, in our vehicle. This is true. Yeah. But, um, so, I don't know if that merges out. But for us, in the summertime, for what we're paying right now, mm -hmm. it's great. I think at fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars a month, I don't think it was necessarily worth it. We've been looking yeah. to get, yeah. but we're okay with it right now. So there's other things that are different um, socially. It's just a different yeah. lifestyle, right? Mm -hmm. So let's talk about social ability. Let's on... talk about social distancing. I'm just kidding. We're not going to do. Uh, it. Let's talk about social on in a marina. 
So in a marina, you know, you have your neighbor boats, you have a vehicle, you can go meet friends real easy for coffee. You're essentially just like living in a neighborhood, yeah. but just on water. So again, just like in the neighborhood, social is what you make it. Mm -hmm. If you're that person that goes and meets your neighbors, same thing. Yeah. Um, we've lived in two marinas. Uh, one of them, uh, just the age range was a little different from our family. Not as many young kids. There was one or two little kids. Um, but it was, it was more of the... Um, old people, let's put it that way. Love y'all. If you're watching, we still love you. Um, but they just they hang out differently. It's our that's yeah. not our kids. Um, where we're at now, we have three kids that live in a house that's like two doors from the marina, and they walk to each other. It's a mm -hmm. small neighborhood, and they run around. We love it, love it, love it. So for right now, yeah, we couldn't have picked a better. I think our us. kids prefer the socialness in a marina because like, they can just hop off in a marina like this i think well even the other one they could just hop That's off true. and they go play a, in the grass on, and, uh, yeah. ride their bikes just you know anytime they wanted versus before well okay so then let's talk about social so we've had both on socially on a, on anchor on anchor we've had when you're with a buddy boat uh you have great social but it's usually with that buddy boat mm -hmm. um, but you usually get together for sundowners or make dinner we'll cook one night they'll cook right. the next right you want to be social mm -hmm. uh, and then we've had times where we're on the hook and there was no it's just us yeah especially with the uh like a bad weather day mm -hmm. and the kids are stuck inside on the flip side they can go and jump in the water like that Versus right at the marina we're at now right there ain't no jumping in this water we had a crocodile in our boat like <laughs> 20 minutes ago but four or five foot crocodile on mm -mm, anchor the water. on anchor um i mean if they want to go to land anywhere, even a park, we all have to go together because we have to dinghy over and we got to pack the dinghy and get it all in there. Mm. So, so let's talk about function. So function, let's start with the marina. Okay. It's like living in a house functionally. Yeah. You can flush the toilet, you can pump out, you can get water, you can plug into power. You just walk down the dock to your car like yeah, you would in your I mean, driveway. Our last you just... marina, we were at the way end of a long dock. Now we're backed right up. Our, literally, my Suburban is 10 feet over there. Mm -hmm. um, and then, uh, like, when you work on a boat, functionally, it's a lot easier in a marina, yeah. I would say, because you're not hauling all your parts and your yeah. tools and yeah. dinging it back. But on the hook, that's a big difference functionally. Everything takes way longer. So much Everything, longer. Everything. doesn't matter what it is. Yeah. Getting um, groceries. Because you got to buy the groceries. Take them to the dinghy, load them in the dinghy, drive the dinghy back to the boat, mm -hmm. unload from the dinghy yep. up to the boat, put them away, yeah. and then you're you're. We stopped at the grocery store and unpacked everything. We took all mm -hmm. the cereal boxes and threw them away at the store. So we like half unpacked our groceries to repack them, to unpack okay. them into the boat to repack them. And so yeah. it just takes forever. And then making water at anchor yeah. takes here, a long time. Here we turn on the hose, and five minutes later we have two hundred gallons mm -hmm. of water. Ten gallon, ten minutes later, whatever. Yeah. Uh, on anchor, it's 19 gallons an hour, mm -hmm. and if we have to fill 200 gallons, you're it's running that generator for time. a while because you have to run the generator to make water. Um, what other function is there on pumping out? Oh, you got to go out three and a half miles to pump out, or you got to store it for however long you're on mm -hmm. anchor. Um, for a while there, they had the pump out service in the keys, mm -hmm. where they boat you could register and they'd come to you and pump your boat out for you. But again, that's something else and they don't have to have anymore. to do. To, to meet them and sign up and where tell them where you're at, especially if you're moving. And then now they've eliminated that. They don't have any more funding. So you have to go to a marina to pump out or go three miles out or pump out or just store it if you got a big enough tank. Yeah. So with all that being said, the cost, the social, and the function, which one do you like better? Uh, I like that we can float around back and forth and do both. Let me put it that way. Yeah, yeah. I enjoy being out anchor. I'm looking forward to leaving this mm -hmm, marina mm -hmm. when the time comes and traveling. Yep. For right now, in this moment in time in our life, hurricane season, kids have friends, all that, being tied to this marina, I like where we're at. Yeah, I would say I agree with that. I prefer living on anchor if it's just us. I like the freedom of it, but I love right now, it's been so hot and so humid in Florida. Although I could live without air conditioning, it is really nice to just walk inside and have a go. It's ah, it all feels so four good. air conditioners are working great. And then I've been walking every morning with a girlfriend. So just to have every morning right. the socialness of I just walk off the boat. I don't have to get in the dinghy, make sure the boys are with me. And, you know, it's, it's a lot more it's just uh, organizing. It's just simpler. Mm -hmm. Now, when we go to travel to another country, that's going to be exciting. It's going to be mm -hmm. something new. 
Yeah. And we're looking forward to that as well. Yeah. But like I say, I'm okay and, and I'm happy to be where we're at for the time being, for yeah. the next month or two or month, yeah. six weeks, whatever, it, however long it's going to be. Um, so, yeah, hope and that then, answers. I was going to say, let's add in a couple other random thoughts about Anchor versus Marina. Uh, insurance can change your decision because some in re marinas require like a million dollar policy. And yes. so if you can't get a million dollar policy, you can't stay at that marina. Sure, I didn't think about that. Um, some anchorages are just terrible for weather, so you're always moving. Yeah, I was going to say weather is a big one. It's really yeah. easy at a dock if you get weather, you maybe throw out a line or two if it's a really yeah. bad storm. Hurricane's a different scenario. Totally Everyone different has to prepare situation. for a hurricane. But, you know, you get some pretty good blows that blow, you know, mm -hmm. 30 mile an hour winds, 35. And that's, mm -hmm. That'll rock the boat for sure. So just some random other things to think you about. You don't have to worry about dragging at the dock. You know, on anchor, you could drag. Mm -hmm. um, and then also on anchor, you got to worry about like, is am I legally allowed to be here? There, am I in someone's view? Is this a private area? Blah blah blah. I don't worry about that at all. I know you don't. Um, and then also like running through sandbars or just as you move and travel, you know, you have that navigation and weather that you always have to yeah. consider. You really pay attention to weather a lot more on the hook. Mm -hmm. Yes. Every just day. like when you're traveling and uh, moving between mm -hmm. islands and whatnot. Yeah. And it, it really, when you're at the marina, it's not as much. I haven't Still even wanna... looked at the weather. The wind, at least. I haven't yeah. looked at the wind for I mean, a I, week. I look just for work, but... Yeah. When, when there's a storm coming, we still like we still have to take down that bimini top, that blue top you see above yeah, Julian up there. True. If we get winds, uh, you know, above 30 miles an hour, we're yep. gonna pull that down. Yep. So I hope that was helpful. Um, I hope it explains all the different things that you got to think about. If you're looking to do this lifestyle, um, there's a lot to think about. Mm -hmm. uh, there are other people that have different boats and they work well without air conditioning. Uh, all things that we didn't even think about. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't think about the airflow. And how it would flow through the boat to my bedroom. Or not flow. Or not flow. Uh, that's one of the nice things about a smaller sailboat with uh, mm -hmm. like just a couple. You, yeah. you could probably more likely do it. Bigger boats don't flow the air as well. you got so many different compartments yeah. and rooms and stuff. It's tough to just open everything up and get mm -hmm. air flow. It really is. Yeah. If you have any other uh, questions about living on Anchor or living in a marina, just drop a question below and Please. we'll try our best to answer it. Um, once again, thanks for watching. And make sure you hit the subscribe button and share this with your friends. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great week. What is your favorite thing about living on Anchor? My favorite thing about living on Anchor, I guess you feel more free. Like, um, you can do more things as far as uh, getting in the water. I leave the doors open, the cats can run around, and I don't worry about them. The boys can just jump and play. Uh, it seems to just be a really good fit for our family. One of my favorite things about living on Anchor is just the freedom that I felt. So we were like isolated, but we could still get to land and see things and see people. Um, but I love like after dinner, the boys would say, hey, can we go swimming? Yeah, let's just all jump in as a family. So it was really fun. Um, my favorite thing about living on Anchor is the sunset. Because we can move and see um, in different spots and they might be different depending on what spot we're in. What was some of the stuff in the sunsets you saw that were like amazed you? Like what were some of the features that really made you think, wow, that's uh, pretty? All the colors. The colors? Carter, what is your favorite thing about living on Anchor? Um... It would have to be uh, jumping off the boat and just being in the water and moving water. Still water makes me itch. My favorite thing about living on Anchor is that we have to toast, toast on the pan. Oh, nice.